I got another song I want her to learn how to sing. I need some of these musicians to help me with that. Hallelujah, all by myself. Ain't God all right? Amen. Now, not only am I a day older, but I'm a year older. Thank you, Brother Green. Almost brought tears from my eyes. Amen. Thank God for 79 years. Amen. Ain't God all right? Y'all may not know it, but ain't God all right? Y'all may not know it, but ain't God all right? I know he's all right. He's a friend of mine. Oh, glory to God. Now that may be all I'm going to say this morning, because I know he's all right. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, I'm going to read to you what I want to talk about as the Lord led me from the book of Psalm, 122nd number of Psalm, and it read, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together. Whether the tribe go up, the tribe of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the, the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the throne of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for they shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sake, I will now say, peace be within thee. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. And my thought come from the very first verse. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And listening to the song that was sung, I want to talk about gladness in the, in the, in the church house. Gladness in the church house. Now, now, before, before, before we expound on that, it came to me this past week to give you something to study. Uh, and just a few scriptures I want to give you. I want you to get your pencil and pen, and I want you to report back to me on next Sunday. I want you to write your name and phone number and let me know that you've studied what I'm going to give you. Hallelujah all by myself. Amen. I'm going to get your pencil and pen. I'm going to see how many you're going to read your Bible. I know some of you are going to have to look for your Bible. You can't find your Bible. You put it somewhere on a, a table or somewhere, or on top of some dresser, and it got dusty. Amen. But I want you to find it because I'm going to give you just a few scriptures. Amen. The Lord uh, laid on my heart to do this. Amen. The first scripture I want you to look at, it's uh, the book of St. John. That's one of the gospel writers. St. John, the very first chapter in the book of St. John, verses 1 through 51. You got that? I want you to turn it in to me next Sunday now. Also, St. John, the 14th chapter, verses 1 through 31. You want me to re repeat it? I'm going to repeat it. St. John, the 14th chapter, verses 1 through 31. Next one is, is Psalms, the book of Psalms. Psalm 1 and uh, chapter 1, verse 1 through 6. Next one is the last one. St. John again. St. John, the third chapter, verse 1 through 21. I want, I want every one of you to, to, to read those verses. It's in the Bible. Now I'm going to tell you what the Bible contains. 
The Bible contained the mind of God, the state of man, the way of salvation, the doom of sinners, the happiness of believers. Its doctrines are holy. Its precepts are binding. Its histories are truth. His decisions are immutable. Can't just change his decision. Well, he said it, he meant it, and that settled it. Hello, somebody. Read it to be wise. Believe it to be safe. Practice it to be holy. It contains light to direct you, food to support you, and comfort to cheer you. It's the traveler's map, the pilgrim's staff. The pilot's compass, the soldier's sword, the Christian chart. Here, paradise is restored. Heaven open. The gates of hell disclosed. Hello, somebody. Thank you, Brother Michael, for witnessing. Thank you for witnessing. Let's talk about gladness in the church. It ought not be sadness in the church. Huh? Because I heard Jesus say, upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell, which mean more than one gate. So the devil going to come at you many different ways. He said, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amy going to come at you, and, and Patrick, I'm going to use your, your statement again. Patrick said, the devil just keep on ramming. If it ain't one thing, it's another. He come at you one way, you think you got him, you, you done pushed him away on this side, he come on the other side. You push him on that side, he come in the front of you. And you knock him out of your way in the front of you. He come behind you, you got to get him from behind you. If it ain't one thing, it's another. But I love what Jesus said, uh, upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This psalm that is written here, it is written by the one is well known, which his name is David. We call him King David. He was first known as a shepherd boy. All of us have read the 23rd number of psalm. How many of you read the 23rd number of psalm? It said, Lord is my shepherd. Many of you quote that verse, amen, at the dinner table. Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. David is the one that it is said that penned this 122nd number of song. And it talks about Jerusalem. Jerusalem, during its history, during its long history, Jerusalem have a long history. Jerusalem has been destroyed twice. Some of us have been to the city of Jerusalem. Amen. The Lord have allowed some of us to go over into the Holy Land and we have viewed uh, the city, the ruin of Jerusalem. It is said Jerusalem has been destroyed twice. It has been besieged 23 times. It has been attacked 52 times. It has been captured and recaptured 44 times. It is said that Jerusalem is the, is the oldest city in the world. Hello, somebody. It, 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 talking about Jerusalem, amen. And David here, in penning this psalm, it said he penned this psalm, amen, as they were on their way up to Jerusalem, amen, in order, amen, to, to praise God and to offer a feast, a festival unto God. You know, they, they honored the Passover. They never forgot the Passover. But on their way up, they sung this hymn. They sung, I was glad when they said unto me, how many of you glad when the door of the church is open on Sunday morning? You ought to be happy. The preacher ought not have to preach for you to be happy. The choir ought not have to sing for you to be glad. But the psalmist said, I was glad when the person, first of all, the person, I was glad when they said unto me. Nobody ought not have to make you happy. You ought to come. I'm happy this morning. Amen. 79 years old. Hallelujah. Those of you who have not made it may not make it. So I was glad when they said unto me this morning, let us. Yeah. First of all, personal pronoun, then, then plural, say let us. Yeah. Go 
come to the house of the Lord. Ain't God all right? The psalmist said, our feet shall stand within their gates. Oh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a holy city. Am I right about it? Jerusalem was ordained by God. Jerusalem is a worship place of, of the saints of God. Jerusalem, amen, is a place where all the saints gather together. When nations gather at Jerusalem to worship at Jerusalem, it was the headquarters of worship for those that know God. Ain't he all right? David here, amen, never forgot the goodness of God. David had been through many trials and tribulations, but David never forgot who God is. And not only who he was, but who he is, he's still God. He's not a yesterday God, but he's a present tense God. He's God right now. How many of you know that God is still God today? What he done on yesterday, he's still able to do today. How many of you know he's able? He waked miracles back yonder. He's a miracle waking God right now. But you got to believe God. You got to trust God for who he is and what he is. I heard David said, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I know God. I know Jesus. He said, I'm going away to prepare a place for you. That where I am, that you may be also. But not only over in the land, but I thank God he got some goodness right here. Am I right about it? I'm, I'm so glad that I'm able to enjoy some of God's goodness right here. I know he got some in blue in Beulah land. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard the good thing that the Lord have in store for those that love him. Only, only for those that love him. Do you love him? Are you his child? If you God child, yeah, it doesn't matter. Stormy rise in your life, yeah. Wind of confusion may be blowing in your life, but that's all right. God got something that eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, neither have entered the heart of men. The good thing that God has prepared for those that love him. So glad, so glad that he's able, that God is able, and that he is a way-making God. I heard David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within our gates. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem is built as a city that it come packed together where the tribe go up, the tribe of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the throne of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, for they shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls, and prosperity within their palace. Am I right about it? For my brethren and companions say, David said, I will now say, peace be within thee because of the house, the Lord our God. Yeah, he's all right. He's a good God. I heard David said in the 23rd number song, I heard him say, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want him. He maketh me to lie down 